What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a pretty awesome review planned for you. We're talking about the newest release from Shavu, their Ocean Sea Salt Spray. I'm of course going to tell you guys all the details surrounding this product, how it works, how well it works, what's in it, all that great stuff, and most importantly, is it good or not? So before we jump into this review today, I want to mention to you guys that I have gotten the latest monthly bestseller here on my wrist from Movement. This is a monthly feature that I do with them. This is an unpaid monthly feature I want to add. They don't pay me to feature them, nothing like that. I'm just a fan of their watches. And every month I do feature the best-selling watch from the month prior and I wear it for the entire month so you guys can see it here on the channel. And this month we are featuring this awesome timepiece here and for those that would like a closer look at that a direct link to this watch will be in the description there and I do want to remind you guys real quick that I am not comparing them to any other brand Seiko Omega anything meaning I'm not saying that they're better than whatever watch is on your wrist or whatever watch brand is your favorite I'm not saying that they're better than them I'm not saying that they're the best out there I'm simply just saying that I enjoy the brand I enjoy the watches they make I've enjoyed what I've seen from them and if you'd like to take a closer look at this month's featured watch a link will be in the description and I will be wearing it on my wrist for the rest of the month moving on from that though we are going to talk about the new release from let me see which one it is I got three in my hand here we're gonna be talking about the new release from Shavu which by now is a brand that everyone knows about all you guys know about Shavu so I won't go into much of the details there they of course have the ocean clay a product that I'm very fond of I really enjoy ocean clay and I've have done a full review on it so you guys can go back and check that out I've also covered the activating oil cleanser in the past this is one that's actually still in my rotation I still use this to this day it's still in my bucket of cleansers and recently again they just released this guy right here the ocean sea salt spray and they've actually also for those that haven't noticed I'm sure you guys have already noticed all this but they actually just rebranded the entire line to this new design too so I figured we needed to get them back on the channel and since we're putting together a nice little b-roll section on this new spray anyway I thought I might as well throw these in there and make that section just that much better so here we go the Ocean Spray by Shavu is, according to the brand, designed to be an enhanced and modernized sea salt spray that is perfect for all hair types to assist with volume, texture, and full-bodied waves. Looking at the specs on this one, we have a sulfate and paraben-free formula that is also free of providing any type of hold to the hair. It does, however, provide texture and volume to bring the hair back to life with the use of a blow dryer. Now, there's obviously nothing to scoop here per se. This is a sprayer, but I do need a few seconds to show the ingredients so folks don't get upset. So let's take a look at the sprayer. It does come out in a fine mist, and really there's not much else to say about this right now. Uh, did I mention though that I put the ingredients up there in the corner? Because you know they're there seriously I feel like half the time I'm trying to just not upset folks I mean really I don't care about ingredients I seriously just don't care about ingredients I wish we could go back to the days where it didn't matter if the ingredients were shown but the ingredients are there so let's go ahead and move on now to the demo let's go ahead now and see how this stuff actually works here's a look at my hair with nothing in it just freshly washed and blow-dried hair this is actually here for comparison so we can see if this spray actually brings out a different result or not starting the demo here though we're obviously going to start with fresh clean hair no added products anything like that i just wanted to see how this works on its own and i am following the instructions on the bottle which say to apply it generously to the hair prior to blow drying so i'm spraying it all over my head and doing my best to get it evenly applied and 
after that, we're going to take a blow on the wild side and hit it with some heat. And there we go. Now we're all dried up and wow, I see some results here. Let's go back to the normal photo or the before photo and check it side by side. And man, can you say volume? There's a lot more there and quite a bit more texture too. I mean, this is really good. I was expecting some change there, but honestly, not this much. I'm actually very surprised here. Now I got to tell you, I have tried a lot of sprays. We've talked about quite a few of them here actually. And usually I've had better luck in the past with sprays that actually provide hold. You know, like the Damon Barber Texture Tonic or the Ruzel, it's not really a spray, but like the Ruzel Orange, for example, they actually provide some kind of tack and some stickiness. I've had better luck with those, but stuff that only contains a type of sea salt or those beach sprays or something like that, I haven't had as much luck with those in the past because I feel like my hair is usually too heavy for them to actually have much of an effect. But, but I have to say, and you guys saw it too, this stuff really seems to work in my hair, which tells me that it's got a lot of options as far as who can use it. I mean, as far as hair types go anyway, a lot of different people can find benefit from this product. I mean, I mean, I could see this stuff working for you guys with straight hair that struggle to get volume or you fine haired folks get some of that volume that you're always looking for. And then of course there's the thick haired guys like myself. I think it, it obviously works for me. So I'm assuming I'm theorizing that it would work for other people with similar hair types to me, but by association, it will also work with people with different hair types than me. That's kind of where my thought process is going anyway, but we will talk about this more in a second. Real quick, let's go take a look at how the finished result with this spray translates into a finished style. Because obviously to me, that matters a lot. It has to translate well into a finished style, meaning it has to work well with a product. That means a lot to me because normally I would not just use the spray and, and be done unless it's like a real lazy day and I just want it to stay out of my face or something. You guys get what I'm saying though. On days where it doesn't matter, I could go with this and just be done. But most days I would want something to lock in the style a little more, which is why I wanted to test it with some ocean clay. So here we got some of the ocean clay, obviously. And like I said, nothing's changed formula wise. It's just been rebranded. And so we're going to throw a scoop in here to see how the end result comes out after being set up so nicely by the spray. As I add in this first scoop here, I immediately notice that I'm probably not going to need that second scoop that I usually add in when I use the ocean clay. I think the spray is actually making things more secure as far as hold goes. So I'll actually need less product. And as you can see here, in the end, we actually end up with a style that's nice and locked in with probably double the texture and all the volume we could want. So really, in my opinion, what makes this spray different for me is the fact that while it doesn't really give any hold in the traditional sense, it's not sticky or tacky or anything like that, it does give a bit of control. And we've talked about the difference between hold and control in the past. There is a big difference there. And I think really it's in that control where you find the biggest benefit of the spray. I think that also has a lot to do with the amount of volume that it gives. I mean, you guys saw it gave a lot of volume. Volume. The volume, it was there, but it wasn't just free flowing. It was actually controlled. You know, it didn't just, you know, go all over the place. It seemed to actually contain some kind of controlled shape, which I think is really awesome. And then when we actually applied extra product to it, when we threw in that scoop of ocean clay, we saw how that translated into me having to use less product. And I thought, that was just really nice. That's a solid plus for me. But if I were to just bring everything together, form it into one final thought or statement on this product, I'd have to say that I was really impressed. I was actually very surprised and impressed. Going into it, I wasn't really expecting much as I already said. And again, this one just surprised the crap out of me. I can't believe it actually worked as well as it did. I mean, that's not hype. You guys saw the results. I mean, that volume, that control, it was there and it was there in a big way. This stuff is killer. This stuff is awesome. I'm already sitting here contemplating all the potential killer combos that can come from this spray because it 
works so well and giving me that volume. I'm sitting here thinking, man, that stuff is going to work great with this, going to work great with this. I'm, I'm sitting here, my brain is on fire right now with all the potential combos here, but I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm, I, I love it. I think it's awesome. I'm going to leave it there because I really don't want to hype this. I don't want to sit here and just hype, 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 hype. I really hate it when people do that. So I'm not going to do that. And if you guys want to know more about the other two products, like I already mentioned, I do have videos discussing those products already made in the past videos. You guys can go back and check those out. But if you're interested in picking up this ocean spray or any of the other products from Shavu links and a discount code, got a nice little discount as well. That will all be in the description for you guys if you're interested. That is it though for this episode and this review. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you tap that thumbs up for me and drop me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you're new to the channel, welcome first of all, welcome to the channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, now's a great time to do that as well. And if you do subscribe, make sure you also follow the instructions in the description to send in your subscriber spotlight photo. One will be tacked on to the end of this video for you guys that look for that. We have subscriber spotlights on the end of every review. So make sure you stick around for that. And as always, I will be back with you guys right here on the channel again very soon. And until then, you take it easy. I'll see you next time.